Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. We have made a bit of a spontaneous decision this morning. We didn't have anything planned for today. We had a mini lion for us, got up, had some really yummy breakfast and decided that we were going to take a trip to Dalesford Farm today. It's not somewhere I've ever been before but I've wanted to go for absolutely ages and it's not raining, the weather is a little bit windy but it's not looking too bad so I figured it would be a good day to just go and have an explore and I thought I would take you along with me. I feel like I am wearing this jumper in every single video that I do and it is not on purpose. I just find it so so comfy and it's the perfect jumper uh, to wear with leggings. I will very quickly show you my cosy outfit before I go. Obviously the jumper I mentioned, I've got my favourite ever, ever, ever leggings on, which are the Adenola ones. I've got these in black and brown and I basically live in them. Um, and then I've chucked my knee-high boots on and my gilet, which is also from Reese, which is really, really cosy. And then I'm gonna throw on a small bag because I don't need much, purse, phone and keys, and obviously to match the boots as well. <laughs> and that is it. We are going to go because James is waiting for me in the car. We have literally just arrived at Dalesford and I cannot believe that I have not been here before. The drive here was just absolutely beautiful. I think it took us maybe around an hour or so it wasn't too bad but the whole drive as soon as you get into this area is just absolutely stunning so I cannot wait to go inside I'm hoping we'll be able to have some lunch here if there's a table but it is a Saturday so I don't know how busy it will be so we will see how we get on The room of cheese. Oh my goodness. Play a favorite movie, playing right beside me. I don't know. Oh, I like these. Little songs make me glad to call you mine, and you have got my head in the clouds. Oh. One, two, three. All that I need is your. These are the candles that I love. Just need your company, don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's everything. Joy of hearing your voice every morning. These are the plates I love. Strolling hand in hand, exchanging letters. We always have fun throughout the day. I do anything to get your attention. When you say you love me, I seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you Because all I need All I need Is you Make me fly To the clouds One, two, three All that I need Is your body next to me On rainy days Just need your company Don't need too much 
so simple love and it's everything we are back in the car we're having one of those days where everything is just very spontaneous and we're just deciding on random places to go at the, at the time it's a little bumpy on this road hence why my camera is shaking all over the place so yeah we went to Dalesford it was absolutely beautiful you would have seen a few things that I found in there I could have spent hundreds of pounds I didn't I bought a really really cute candle actually which I'll show you when I get home and then we thought seeing as we are really close to Chipping Norton we'd actually pop to the Diddley Squat farm shop as well we did get there and because of the way that we came it was actually really easy to get in we managed to skip a lot of the queue just from the direction that we were coming down the road which was amazing so yeah we had a little look around there we were we're gonna have a look in a shop but the queue was an absolute joke and neither of us <laughs> were willing to stand in that queue so we decided to just have a look around and then we stopped off to grab some lunch and we are now taking a very quick I think like 10 minute detour to have a quick look at Mr Village before we head back home really quiet. I've made one purchase. I want to have a quick look in a couple more places and then I think we'll head home. This would make a very cute stacking ring. £33. And we are home. I've literally come up to the brightest room that I could possibly find in the house. There is not much daylight left, but I thought I would very quickly show you what I bought because I only picked up a couple of things. I'm so cold. I, I literally don't want to take my coat off yet. I've got my feet on a radiator in front of me and I am waiting for it to warm up because it was freezing. Um, take out my drink because I really don't need to show you the water that I picked up. Dale's food, there were a few things I picked up and then I put back down because I really didn't need them, but I did want them. They had some really, really nice bags actually. Some kind of simple shopping bags that you would just chuck on to, to run down to the shop or maybe to go to the gym or something. Not that I go to the gym, but I managed to resist. I walked around the whole shop with it and then I said to James, just take it away from me, I don't need it. But what I did pick up, because I thought it'd be really, really nice to style around the house as well, is one of these beautiful candles. I went for the fig leaf one. They had one that was smaller and I think they had one that was quite tall and one that was giant as well. Oh, it smells really, really nice. It's it's hard to describe it. It 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 smells like fig leaf. <laughs> It's kind of, it, it, it reminds me of like a greenhouse. It reminds me of like plants and yeah, like plants and leaves and just outdoors. It's, it's a lovely, lovely smell. I don't know if I will ever light it. I'm certainly not gonna light it for a little while. I can close it again. I'm certainly not gonna light it for a little while. I think it was £28, so it was a little bit of a splurge for a candle that's not even that big. But I figured it would be really nice to style somewhere and pop on top of a book or pop into the TV unit, just as a little reminder of our trip. Bista was okay, they had some really nice things actually. I almost picked up some earrings from Tory Birch, but 
I wasn't 100% convinced that I did want them. I, I was kind of 90% there. So I put them down and I thought, oh, well, I can go back for them. And then I got to the other end of Bista Village and I just thought I can't really be bothered to walk back and go and get them. So they got left behind. But I did make a very small purchase from Reese. There's a bodysuit from Reese that I've had my eye on for a little while. And it's got a really nice square neck. You can get it in white and you can get it in black. I'm not sure if you can get it in a beigey colour, but the white one I've had my eye on for a while. And the reason I have never ordered it is because it is, I think, 68 or 69 pounds. So it's not cheap. I've picked up other ones in the past from, I can't even remember where I got them from. But a lot of the ones that I buy, I find, I don't know if you know what I mean, but you get like a line around here of where you've got the thicker material at the top and then it's thinner at the bottom or it's just see-through altogether and I'm just not not the biggest fan but I'm hoping I've heard some really good reviews about the Reese one and I spotted this in the Bista Village shop and can you believe it was on sale for £25 Oh yeah, 68, there you go. I haven't tried it on, but I thought screw it for 25 pounds and it doesn't have like the double, the double padded part where the top bit's thinner, the top bit's thicker than the, than the rest of it. And I mean, I did put my hand through it and it doesn't look see-through at all. So I just think it's a really, really nice staple to just have for summer, to have under trousers, under skirts, under a cardigan. It's really easy to wear. And especially in summer, it's just perfect to, to wear on its own, tucked into something. Really pleased with that. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I picked up today. We've pretty much just made the whole day up as we've gone along. We made up where we stopped for lunch. Like we just drove and drove until we found somewhere to stop and have some yummy food. So yeah, it's been a nice day. It's been nice to just have a day, the two of us, just really chilled. So yeah, it's been fun. I am going to take my coat off. I am going to do exactly what I always do as soon as I get home from anywhere, which is go to the, I've just completely forgotten the word, the airing cupboard. I don't know why that just came up in my head, which is go to the airing cupboard, get my fresh pajamas out, put those on, slippers, cup of tea. I'm going to make some dinner soon. And then I think we're just going to cozy up on the sofa and maybe watch a film tomorrow. I am meeting my friend. I'm gonna to go to the gym with her on a guest pass. But when I say gym, I'm not actually going to the gym. We're gonna to go to a class, which is a really nice, like stretch and mobility class, I think it's called, at 7.45 a.m. And then we're gonna go for a swim. And then I think we're gonna to go to the spa. So it's gonna be a relaxing gym visit. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rabbiting on. I think the light is very quickly fading. So, pyjama time and then dinner.
good morning. I have just got back from a very, very relaxing time at the gym with a friend. I've literally just walked back through the front door. It is the most beautiful day. So yeah, we did a stretch and mobility class and then we went for a quick swim and we did like 10, 12 lengths up and down the pool. And then we went into the spa and we went into the nicest hot tub. We weren't really sure when it was gonna switch on and the pool was kind of built so that you had a seat you could sit in with like your knees up. And excuse me, my office chair. I feel like an office manager sat talking to you. Um, and then the jets came on and it was literally like a back massage. It was so nice. And then, yeah, we went into the steam room, steamed the pores, which is why I'm probably looking a little bit red. I've been out, I think I left the house at about quarter past seven this morning and it is now 10 o'clock. Plan for today. These nails are looking absolutely horrendous. I don't even want to show you up close <laughs> because they are so chipped and I've been holding out and holding out and holding out. I actually have a nail appointment, I think on Thursday next week. And because there's not a huge amount of time in the evening, I need to go with nothing on my nails. So what I'm thinking is I'll take these gels off and I'll just find any old nail varnish, if I've even still got some, to just stick on my nails to hide, <laughs> hide how they look underneath. I think also today, I am going to make some giant cheese twists. I haven't made them in ages. I made them last summer, I think. And they're really, really easy to make. You literally need puff pastry, some nice parma hat. Why does my chair, why is my chair just spinning me? I want to face this way. <laughs> you need puff pastry, either something like parma ham or serrano ham or prosciutto, if that's how you say it and then an egg or butter you can use egg or butter uh, i think the recipe includes a little bit of mustard but i don't put that in and then i think that's it oh and some parmesan or some kind of nice cheese that's slightly stronger than cheddar to to put in as well and when i say they're giant they are actually like probably about this big they're huge so yeah i think i'm going to make those today james is at golf until about two o'clock so I've got some time to myself this morning and over lunchtime. I'm gonna go and make a chai latte because you should know by now that it's absolutely essential in any kind of routine I have. And I'm gonna get changed as well because this is my gym wear. And to be honest, I'm feeling quite warm and the sun is out and I just wanna wear something that makes me feel a little bit more summery. Doesn't that just look like the kind of sunny sofa you could spend all day on a Sunday <laughs> sat on? The sun basically moves across this window in that direction over the day. So it starts off in this corner and then gradually over the day just moves along this room and along the sofa. That's exactly where I think I'm going to sit and do my nails and drink a nice hot drink. And then we'll be cracking on with some yummy baking.
So the cheese twists are currently in the fridge. They need to sit in there for about 20 minutes or so. And then I will put them in the oven, which reminds me I need to go and preheat the oven. I did finish my nails and I made a bit of an error. <laughs> I painted my nails, okay, this one isn't as bad. I painted my nails a really nice, like pinky peachy color. And <laughs> I don't know how well you can see in this camera, but I decided to then wash up and start baking. And you can probably see the state that is now my nails. I have completely ruined them. <laughs> I put two layers on, I put a top coat on. I mean, this one is the worst. Look at the absolute state of that nail. Oh my gosh, it looks horrible. There's about three nails that I can get away with, but the rest of them, this hand is just absolutely shocking. Anyway, I am gonna set a timer for 20 minutes now. The cheese twists are supposed to be giant ones. And when I made them before, how nice is this sun, by the way? Oh. When I made them before, they were giant cheese twists. They were literally about this long and I managed to make six of them. Did I make six or did I make four? But this time around, I actually had to watch my reel back on Instagram to remind me how I folded it because you have to fold the pastry twice. One time like a book and then the second time, I remember when I made them first, it wasn't very clear whether you were supposed to fold it again like a book or whether you were supposed to fold it lengthways. So I tried it one way and I thought this doesn't look right. So then I tried it the other way and I just couldn't work out how to get giant cheese straws. It just didn't make any, didn't make any sense. So I have made six, but they are not giant. Okay, for a very quick attempt, I am really pleased with these. I think they look yummy. The cheese is cooked really well. You can see the ham in there, which just honestly tops it all off. It is so much better with the Parma ham. Question is, how many are gonna be left by the time James gets home? I did actually do six, like I said. This one is kind of okay, but these were the best five that I had. And the sixth one, which is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of like a stumpy one. I'm actually going to have as my taste test in just a minute when it's cooled down. Okay, I couldn't wait any longer. This is the one that didn't make it. This is the not quite aesthetic looking one. I'm going to give it a quick taste test. Mm. Oh my goodness. It is delicious. It's still quite warm. It's not like hot, but it is still quite warm, which helps. Who doesn't love a fresh, warm cheese twist? Mm. That is just like I remember it the last time, actually. Although it's smaller, it is just as good as last time. I'm looking outside the window here and I'm thinking, I really want to get outside. I don't know exactly what I want to do, whether I just want to go for a walk, but there is not a single cloud in the sky right now. And when it's like this, I know I've probably already said this, it just makes me desperate to get outside. It's a Sunday, it's garden centre day. I want to go to a garden centre. <laughs> but I really don't need to go to a garden centre because there is nothing I need to buy and I also don't actually have the budget to buy anything. I think James should be home within the hour. So maybe once he gets home, I will see if I can persuade him to come out on a countryside walk with me, even though he would have been playing golf for like hours, like five hours. Maybe he'll be willing to come on a walk with me because it's a bit boring going by yourself, right? It's always nice to have a bit of company and I don't have Ronnie today. He's at dad's house. So yeah, I'll see what James says. I am conscious I need to redo my nails, but the motivation to redo my nails again right now is minus one. So that is not gonna happen right now. So I just messaged my mum actually. Yes, I've just got changed because my mum lives about two minutes down the road from me. And apparently James isn't gonna be home till about four o'clock now. And I just cannot waste this sunshine. It is 
the most beautiful day ever outside. So my mum is at home and she fancies going for a walk. So I've very quickly gotten changed and just thrown some comfy jeans on. And yes, this is the same top in a different colour. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to pop some black, like small hunter wellies on just with this outfit. Probably doesn't match, but I'm feeling the colours. I'm feeling the bright, happy, summery colours. And this will be quite nice because I've literally just got a normal like adenola vest top on underneath so if i get super super hot i can take this off and just tie it around my waist but yeah let's go for a sunny walk I'm looking a little bit more bedraggled right now. It has been a cosy afternoon. The walk with my mum was absolutely lovely. I took a few clips of the sky and we walked through the horse field and had a really nice catch up. We ended up walking for like an hour. I think we did just over three miles. So yeah, it was nice. I'm glad I did it actually. I am currently making exactly the same dinner as I had last night because this is actually James's half, but he didn't fancy, he's not really in the mood for food. He just doesn't want to eat right now. He just wants to have a snack. So I'm eating his half. And I think I filmed it yesterday. You would have seen it before, but it is literally the easiest dinner ever. It takes five minutes max. And it's actually not very often I make a meal that doesn't have any meat in it because most of our meals that we enjoy have some form of meat in, but this is literally spinach and ricotta, ravioli or tortellini, whichever, um, with tender stem broccoli. And you cook it all together, mix in a spoonful of pesto, give it a good mix. And then whilst that's cooking, I put like a very small handful of panko breadcrumbs into a pan and I cook them in some oil, like a tiny dribble of oil for literally two minutes until they turn a nice golden brown. And it makes the perfect topping. So that is that done in there. Perfect portion. Those, so that is now that done in there and then I literally with the same spoon get my breadcrumbs sprinkle them over I think I did a little bit too much oil this time they've kind of clumped up a little bit they're not particularly breadcrumby I think they'll be more crispy though to be fair so that is that and then it is as simple as grating some cheese over the top. You don't need an awful lot of cheese. I think this will do. Usually you would use Parmesan, but I actually used up all the Parmesan today making my cheese twists, which got very good reviews from James, may I add. He texted me whilst I was out on my walk with mum to say that they were really yummy. And that, with a little sprinkle of pepper on the top is my dinner 2.0 exactly the same as last night 